outer space and the celestial bodies have always been a great interest of the human population. Scientists have been very curious about what lies beyond our planetary confinements of Earth. Our, the New Horizons mission has a dedicated purpose to answer many unanswered questions about the furthest distance of our solar system, and this will benefit our population by giving us a greater understanding of how our solar system formed and what we are, or what our planet is made of. NASA, which stands for the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, was started in 1958 as part of the U.S. government. NASA is in charge of the U.S. and science and technology that has to do with airplanes and outer space. On January 19, 2006, NASA launched the New Horizons Pluto Cooper Belt Mission. The purpose of this mission was to explore the icy edges of the Cooper Belt, which is the region beyond our solar system, which is, <laughs> sorry, which is the region beyond our solar system that is past Neptune, which is our eighth considered planet in our solar system. The Cooper Belt contains our formerly ninth planet, Pluto, which is now considered as a dwarf planet, and it was denounced in the year of 2006. From Earth, humans have divided the solar system into three classifications of planetary bodies. The terrestrial planets include Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. The giant planets include Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. The New Horizons mission is to explore the third classification, which is the Cooper Belt. The masses located beyond Neptune are thought to be remnants of fragments that are left over from the formation of the other classified planets. The masses are believed to hold clues about the historical past and chemical makeup of our solar system. As of July 25th, 2015, which was yesterday, I am making this video on July 26th, at 2100 hours, the New Horizons was located 32.04 AU from Earth and 0.09 AU from Pluto. This is the current position. AU is the abbreviation of an astronomical unit, which is the length equal to 149.6 billion kilometers or 92.9 .9 million miles. Very far. On July 14th, 2015, NASA's New Horizon reported the first detailed images and measurements of the dwarf planet Pluto, previously unknown information about some of its five moons, which are Charon, Nix, Hydra, Styx, and Kerberos. They are all named after underworld mythological gods, creatures, and different things about Greek mythology. Earth has never been able to obtain graphic images of Pluto due to its distance from Earth as well as its nitrogen-saturated icy atmosphere. Pluto is confirmed to be the largest object in the, in the orbit beyond Neptune, which is referred to as the Cooper Belt. Scientists' larger estimations of Pluto's diameter were vindicted when New Horizons reported that the size of the diameter of Pluto is 1,473 miles or 2,370 kilometers. New Horizons uses a long range recon reconnaissance imager, for short LORI, to capture these detailed images. One of the astonishing images that was relayed to Earth was the discovery that Pluto has the shape of a heart on the side of its surface. The heart is made up of a icy liquid nitrogen sort of sea. Uh, Pluto's moon, largest moon, Charon, is confirmed to be what scientists had previously estimated 751 miles in, di in diameter. And also, the New Horizons has shed light on two of Pluto's other moons and decided that the smaller moon, Nix, is 20 miles and Hydra is 30 miles across. Since its discovery in 1930, Earth has, dis has discovered very little about Pluto. P scientists have been able to estimate a certain range of possible sizes and that Pluto might have five moons. The New Horizon now confirmed all of these guesstimations and estimates. 
the New Horizons mission isn't just changing what we've already known and guessed about Pluto, it is giving us solid answers. With this data that has been relayed back to Earth, we've determined that Pluto indeed only has five moons, and if they have any more, they weren't seen and they must be too dim or too small to actually be considered moons. The New Horizons also discovered that Pluto's surface is speckled with mountain ranges, believed to possibly be made up of ice. So they're more like glaciers rather than a rocky structure, what we would think of a mountain to be on Earth. But they're mountains made of ice because Pluto's atmosphere is basically made up of just nitrogen. Everything on Pluto is made up of the nitrogen ice and the ice leaves Pluto's surface appearing smooth and unaffected by craters because this moving, not liquid, but the viscous material creates smooth, a smooth surface over the craters that are caused by celestial impacts of other debris in the atmosphere. All of these discoveries benefit our culture by providing us with unanswered questions that we have had for 85 years about the solar system's icy dwarf planet Pluto.